Hi guys, and welcome back to Beauty Fortified. If you're new here, welcome, my name is Sue. And today I'm talking about the new range of MAC Luster Glass lipsticks. Now they've recently reformulated their Luster lipsticks and I've always loved the Luster lipsticks. I think in fact, of all the lipstick ranges that MAC has, I think the Lusters are probably my favorite. Now they've relaunched these, they've added some ingredients and they say that these are glossier, more nourishing and more luxurious than before. So the reason I've always liked them is because I find that they're quite flattering on mature lips, they don't bleed into lines and they also give you a wash of color with a little bit of gloss so you don't need to add gloss independently of the lipstick. So I've always found them really really comfortable to wear. So just a little bit about them, I'm just going to read to you what they say um, online about them. So these lipsticks contain jojoba oil, raspberry seed oil, coconut oil, organic extra virgin olive, virgin olive oil, shea butter and hyaluronic acid. So they've added quite a few ingredients into the lipsticks to make them more luxurious. And they really are beautiful. Now in line with the reformulation, they've also jigged up the packaging a little bit. So these are the new bullets. You can see they are in a shiny, a shiny plastic black whereas the regular lipsticks are in a matte black so that's a really nice touch and then what they've also done is they've monogrammed the letters MAC onto the front of the lipstick so they've really just given them they've taken them up a notch and just given them a little bit of added appeal so I got three of them from the range and I'm afraid to say that the third one I cannot find. I have put it down somewhere and I cannot find it anywhere. No doubt it will come to life once I've finished the video. But I'm not able to show you and the one that I've lost is called Posh Pit. But the other two that I got are both reds. Now this range does encompass an extraordinary amount of reds. So um, I'm not quite sure why they decided to go that route, but I can tell you that it's good news for women who want to wear a red lipstick, but they're a little bit afraid because there are a lot of different tones. There are neutral reds, there's a mid-tone red, there's a brick red, there's a very subtle red. So there's something for everybody. So the two that I've got here, I got one, this is called PDA and it's quite a sort of bricky red and I just love this color and it's a beautiful red for everyday wear. The other one that I picked up is called Glossed and Found and this is more of a, they describe it as a mid-tone red with a little bit of pearl and it's the one that I'm wearing today and it's absolutely gorgeous. So you can see it's got a little bit more pink in it, that's Glossed and Found over there. Now I really love the formula of these they go on really easily they're not the longest lasting formula but they do leave behind a little bit of a stain on your lips so when the once the gloss is worn off there is a little bit of a stain so they're absolutely beautiful they're very comfortable on the lips now i did a recent video of the wet and wild mega last lipsticks and i will put a link to it up above and at the time i said that these were dupes for the mac lusters and I can say that the new MAC Lusters, the Luster Glass lipsticks, are even better than before. They are obviously twice the price, I think, of the Wet n Wild ones, maybe three times the price. But you're paying for the quality, you're paying for the bullet that goes all the way down. My big beef with these guys is that the bullet doesn't wind all the way down, so you tend to get a lot of lipstick on the lid. So you're definitely paying for the quality and they are really a notch above. Absolutely love them. They come in 20 shades, so as well as there being a lot of reds, there are quite a few nudes. They have kept some of the original colors. For example, Sea Sheer um, is, is one of the originals that they've kept on, but they've also brought some new ones in. So 20 different shades and there's something for everyone in there. So guys, if you were a fan of the Luster lipsticks, I can say go ahead and try the Luster Glass lipsticks. They're absolutely beautiful. They're just a notch above the previous versions. They're a little bit more glossy and really feel quite luxurious on the lips. If you have tried these lipsticks, let me know what you think. If you know where I've put my posh pit, I'd love to hear from you. Leave me a comment below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. 
please don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time. Ciao, ciao.